Hello everyone, just a quick note. Um, of course, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. Thank you for being here. I just want to make an announcement. If you want to see extra videos, an extra video from me for February, I'm actually featured on Nadia Shah, the famous astrologer. Nadia Shah on YouTube, um, one of my favorite ever astrologers. She's actually hosting one of my videos on her channel for February. So I'm doing all the elements plus each sign on their own. I'm also taking a card for Valentine's. So if you want extra um, tarot, extra, extra astrology, please visit her channel, Nadia Shah, on YouTube. And um, you can see my video that is there. As I said, Nadia loved um, to have me on her channel for February and I'm thrilled to bits about it. So if you want to have a sneak preview of who is behind the camera, go and visit her channel. Please give me a like, share the videos um, and you know, that's going to be very much appreciated. I'd love to read your comments there as well. So let's go on to your readings now thank you so much for listening to say that i will be putting the link for the video which will take you to nadia's channel um, in the description box below so you can just look in the description box click on the link and go on to nadia's channel thank you again hello dear pisces welcome to divine debut this is kathy speaking Thank you so much for being here. This is your Valentine's Day reading, Valentine's 2019. So on or around the 14th of February, give or take a few days. This is a general reading, don't forget. If there are so many Piscean people out there who want to listen to this. So the same thing is not going to happen to everyone at the same time. So please don't forget to watch your sun, moon and rising signs. I just dropped a card. So let's take that. So we've got the card of the Hermit. This is Virgo. Now I'm doing singles first. And then I will talk to the coupled people. People who, oh, there's another card that wants to open up for you. People that have been in a long-term relationship. What else do we have? We've got the full card which is the energy of Aries, love it. And we've got the Nine of Wands. Okay, so let's see what the Whispers of Love Oracle message is. I've got a lot of information in the description box below the video. So if you want to know about which cards I'm using, if you want links to my channel, everything is there. So... Let's see what the Whispers of Love has got to add to Pisces. And we've got your card, which is Romance. Wow, love it. Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Well, Valentine's time um, is the right time to do this. So this could also be your partner doing this for you. So... Romance is in the cards for you, uh, dear Pisces. For some of you, I see that, and I'm taking a card for the tarot, from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Some of you are really ready for a, you know, you're going on an adventure, you're starting something new, you're taking a risk with someone because you're coming out of seclusion. It's a time to shine. You've taken the time on your own. You're ready to take that leap. Some of you are actually one hoping to travel. You're going on an adventure. Let's see. And we've got the Six of Pentacles, which would be the energy of Libra, Sun, Moon or Rising. So we've got the Six of Pentacles, which does speak of giving and receiving. Um, and I feel as though for those of you that... Um, are dealing with a Libra, they could be someone who is coming from a relationship, from a past relationship, 
maybe they've got their own um, their children maybe they're because you know the six of pentacles could speak of a legal situation now whether or not they've got children doesn't really matter they could be you know getting a divorced uh, a divorce separating and you know maybe there wasn't enough reciprocity in their past relationship but I feel that with the six of pentacles here um, this is a different story there's going to be more give and receive more reciprocity here now some of you could also be dealing with someone who is in the legal field someone who could be a solicitor um, someone who deals with um, charity as well someone who could be a guru who just like the hermit is someone who does a lot of study um, they're a bookworm you know and they need to work in seclusion now again we've got as I said we've got Virgo here we've got Aries and we've also got Sagittarius Aries again or Leo um, and this is the nine the nine of wands which speaks to being close to the end close to a completion and because the nine of wands can speak of someone who is quite afraid to let go fully and just be in the moment and what I mean by that is there it's because they maybe have come from a rough relationship they've got issues where they're a little bit they're holding back in a sense okay there's still a, a tiny bit of working through the energies but they're here look they're standing on the edge of the cliff there's someone who wants to have a new beginning now could this be because Uranus is at the end of Aries um, Mars is the, all this week and today is the 11th of February Mars is joining up with uh, Uranus and Uranus is you know doing something differently changing things up new ideas Mars is the passion so I think that whatever hasn't been working for them the person that you're looking at the person that you want to get romantic with whatever hasn't been working for them they're on a new journey but there is a tiny bit of holding back and this could be this you know I could be talking to your energy this could be your um, story that I'm reading here but we've got romance lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection so what this card is saying that you need to be in a more romantic energy you need to show um, you know that side of you you need to spoil them you need to give them love and this is a time of giving and receiving that's what this card says that's what the advice is here so for those of you um, that are dealing with a Virgo I feel as though they could be in the medical field and again even in the um, in the legal field this is someone who does you know a lot of work as I said they look at the details this is Virgo Virgo is also the sixth house of hospitals health and um, what you do every day so you if you're dealing with a Virgo there's someone who would be grounded someone who is very stable in their um, in their life they they want stability but they're people who pick at things um, and they look at the finer details so you could be wanting to take a chance on someone like that this is a brand new beginning it's a new karmic cycle obviously now Aries is the beginning of the zodiac this is a brand new cycle that you're moving into and you know romance does speak of Leo Leo is flirtation it's the fifth house it's true love this could be a time of true love for you um, and Leo is the heart so open your heart 
um, look at this card here you're at the nine and the nine is almost the completion the ten speaks of getting to your goal so show your passion show your creativity in this relationship be open to new things be open to a new adventure look at the Sun behind this woman yes she's built up so much in her life she's been through what she's been through but she wants to get to her goal and what is the goal it's as we usually see with the right away tarot there is a house in the distance which says that that is what their goal is and this could be you or your partner that I'm talking about this could even be both of you so you've got two nines dear Pisces two nines which says that you're almost at the completion you're almost at your goal and the hermit is one step before the wheel of fortune so maybe this says that you need to put in a little bit more effort um, come out of seclusion show yourself to the world that's what Leo is all about now Leo is quite strong here again and that is a channeled message you've got the wands here so yes Leo is prominent um, and with this card what it's saying to me is don't look at the past but look at the future okay look ahead don't look back all right dear singles I hope that that was of help to you let's go on to the coupled um, you know long-term relationships marriages engagements it looks like you're ready to take that leap of faith okay romance is changing up in your relationship I feel as though for those of you that were you know quiet about either moving having moved in with someone or maybe even you know this could be the next step of moving in together because with the hermit he's on his own he's very busy with what he does he's aligning to receive from the divine his next step what is the next step in the book of your life it looks like changes are abound after the hermit I said is you know the wheel of fortune which is Jupiter Jupiter is in Sagittarius it's working its magic new cycles okay there are lots of there is a lot of newness around planetarily um, so whatever even with Chiron being you know in about a week Chiron is finishing a 51 year cycle finishing up in Pisces so it's going to be moving into Aries and Chiron is open wounds whatever has been holding you back um, there is a completion here okay this is a brand new cycle and it says that there's going to be a lot of romance at this time it looks like your partner will be serenading you this is like coming to a point of you know the romance the heart is opening the heart is opening and there is more give and take more receiving now the six of Pentacles does speak of you know sometimes there is an imbalance uh, depending on the card whether it's reversed or not I feel that with the sign of Libra Libra is the house of partnership Libra is other people sometimes you know even external circumstances or influences and other people could have been affecting your relationship but I feel that this is a time of balance through romance and magic that's when you get to your goal I really feel that and Aries is the warrior Aries is you know all about putting in the energy Aries is ruled by Mars and Mars joining up with Uranus says put in the energy and make the changes to bring in value bring value into your life because Uranus is moving into Taurus and that's a very stable sign okay so I think that that's what I needed to tell you
Okay, dear Pisces. Now, with Chiron moving away from your sign, I feel that that's when everything, you know, that open wound is going to close. You will have been healed and you will be able even to be the healer, to become the healer within your relationship. Okay, so... Now, when it says lavish the one that you love, it says that act. You know, take actions and show your love. Take actions and spoil your partner. That's going to work wonders for your relationship at this time. All right, dear Pisces, thank you so much for being here, for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Um, you know, giving love um, out being open to love will bring that back to you. You know, once you are moving forward with an open heart, with a deep understanding, and, you know, put a bit of flirtation into the mix, put a bit of romance, it's going to work. It's going to work for you. Have fun. Thank you. Talk to you soon.